Today I'm going to show you what information is lost when music is compressed. Now these days most music is compressed in MP3 or M4A format. And although these formats greatly reduce file size, they also reduce quality. So here I have ripped in wave format that's uncompressed right from the CD, the hook to Hall and Oates song, Wait For Me. And it sounds pretty good. Now I'm going to export this as an MP3 with constant bitrate 320 kilobits per second joint stereo. This should offer a pretty good file size. And I'm going to drag the MP3 into Audacity. Now, if I mute the wave and play back just the MP3, It sounds more or less the same, but what you don't hear is there is some information lost between the two. So now if I line up the waveforms of both the track, because for some reason my encoder adds a little delay to the MP3, so I gotta line these up. And it looks like they're lined up, and invert the phase of one of the two, I'll do it to the MP3. So select it, go to Effect, and Invert. And now if I select them both, Control A, go to Tracks, and Mix and Render, it'll combine the two. And now this is the difference between the MP3 and the Wave. Or otherwise, this is what you're losing when you convert from Wave to MP3. And it's not very much. You probably had to crank the volume up pretty good to hear that. But you're still losing some information. Now, what if I convert it to a lower quality MP3 and try this again? Then we're going to lose more information. So if I undo and go back to where I was originally with a wave and export it as an MP3 with 64 kilobits per second bitrate and I'll call it 64k and save it and now I'm going to import the 64 kilobits per second into Audacity and I'll mute the wave so here's what the 64 kilobits per second mp3 sounds like So as you can hear, it doesn't sound nearly as good as the Wave or the uh, 320 kilobits per second MP3. There's a lot of loss of those higher frequencies, the treble, and uh, also some distortion added. And it doesn't sound very good. So we're going to see what exactly you're losing when you convert to 64 kilobits per second MP3. So we got to line these waveforms up and this is going to be harder to do because the 64 kilobit per second mp3 waveform is changed more all right looks like they're lined up so i'll invert the mp3 and select them all mix and render and i'll play it back So you can hear that you're losing a much more information. Uh, you can actually hear what he's saying 
and that's with a low quality 64 kilobit per second MP3. So I hope that was informative for you. Now you can see what you lose when you compress music or when you get music that's already compressed. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.